Hi, I'm Gareth Marlowe, and my question for today is, when was the last time that you drowned a puppy? So before the pitchforks come out for me, I don't mean literally, obviously, but when was the last time that you took the decision to stop or kill something that you really love? Because over and over again, uh, I come into environments when I'm working with, the, with uh, companies where the problem is not starvation, they're not, the problem is not the absence of opportunity or things to do, the problem is that they have taken too much on. They're trying to do too much at the same time. They lose a sense of what's working and what's not working. Uh, and when something goes wrong on one initiative, um, it has a knock on effect on everything else. Uh, so look, this is generally born out of a good place. Uh, it's born out of a you know an entrepreneurial move fast and break stuff. Uh, let's try out lots of ideas um, place. Uh, but it really is counterproductive because you know, nothing really gets seen through to the end. Nothing really gets seen through to the point that uh, you know whether or not it's worked uh, and you know whether or not to build upon that first idea. But instead you've just, you know, you're kicking off, there's a new website, there's a, a version of the product for the uh, financial industry, there's uh, a new recruitment campaign. Yeah, you know, this big long list of uh, different things. All in, their own idea, all in their own way, they're great ideas. All in their own way, they are valid and they are rational, but stacked up together, they're just too much. And so, um, you know, you have to go through a process where you're sort of looking at all the things that you could do and honing in on the things that you should do. And that process should be difficult. That should be really emotionally difficult because you're gonna have to be saying no to stuff that you really are desperately keen to do. And it might be not yet, and it might be not ever. Um, now, so what gets in the way of this kind of thing can be sometimes quite a lot of people's stuff. So in some cases, it might be um, you know, not wanting to say no to people or feeling, uh, feeling, yeah, feeling embarrassed about, about putting people into a situation where they've got to let go of their idea. In some cases, it might be just overambition or naivety. In some cases, it's greed. Um, and sometimes it's just um, teams just don't know how to go through a process to get to an answer. Um, but processes exist. There are ways in which you can sort of hone in and focus and focus and focus. Uh, and if this is a problem that you see on your team, if you see if, if this is a problem that you see in your organisation, you know there is stuff that you can do about it. Um, comment below uh, if you're interested in learning more. But you know you have to ask yourself the question when was the last time that we killed a puppy? And if you don't know what I'm talking about because you've never experienced that difficult decision-making thing where you decide not to do a thing that you really desperately want to do, if you haven't drowned any puppies in the last six months, you've got a problem. That's it for now. I'm Gareth. Hopefully see you next time.